Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Starter Kit, a plugin for Bucket that enables you to give new players items when they first join your world. My name is Graham Wazir, I'm the developer and maintainer of Starter Kit, which was released on the 24th of December 2011, so it's been around for a while, it's stable and mature, and I recommend it for your server. So first off, to load Starter Kit you need to type SK. So here you can see that you've got all the commands available to uh, use and manage the plugin. So for example, we've got list, load and save. Now at the moment I've got a kit from another video which I did earlier, but what I'm going to do is save a new kit to show you how it works. So for example, I'm going to give myself a wooden pickaxe, a spade and an axe, and I'm going to take these apples as well. Now the way I arrange my items in my inventory is exactly how a player will get them when they join your server. So if I type SK save at this point and then SK list, you can see that my kit contains the items that I've just placed in my inventory. If I clear my inventory and then load the kit, you can see that all the items are back in the exact same place. So you're guaranteed consistency of new players' inventories. You won't have items randomly placed in random places. It's exactly the same as when you saved it. Really, really helpful. Next, we're going to have a look at complex items. So Starter Kit now has support for any item which Bucket supports. So for example, I could put on this uh, armor, which is colored, obviously, so it's a complicated item. Again, SK save. I'm going to clear my inventory, SK load, and you can see that I've got all the items again exactly the same place, including my armor. So you can give uh, new players a suit of leather armor for free if you feel that'd be beneficial. Finally, there is support for more complicated items. So for example, maps, books, and items with enchantments, anything basically that you want. So I'm going to stick all this in these different places. Again, SK save, XK clear. Oh, if I spell it right. Oh, sorry. SK list even. There we go. And now I can see all the items I've just placed. Clear my inventory, SK load. And once again, all the items are there. So I've got my enchanted sword back. I've got my map of the world that I'm currently in and I've got a test book. So books are especially really useful for giving people server rules. So altogether, a really useful kit to have. The last thing that I should really explain is the SK load command. Now, normally you would not give this to players. Players are automatically granted the kit the first time that they join your server. So it's not the first time they join the world, it's the first time that they ever join your server. You can change this so you can grant a kit every single time someone dies. This is useful for specific servers which have a particular game mode in mind. But you do not need to give people SK load. You do not need to give people SK save. By default, everyone will get the kit if they haven't joined the server before. So to test this when you're setting it up, use SK load. Don't just keep logging out and logging back in because you won't get the kit. You've already joined the server before you installed the plugin. That's a common problem that some people have. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know what, what's good. Also leave me a comment if there's something you think I could improve. All the links to the documentation and the download for this plugin are in the description. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.